Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have a huge event in Kazakhstan, an ATP 500 event at the Astana Open. It's a brand new event, or at least it's a brand new 500 event. It's been upgraded from a 250 event to a 500 event due to the Asian swing being cut short. Massive names are playing in this one, but let's go have a look at the withdrawal list because some big names have also pulled out. All right, so we have a long withdrawal list here with Basilashvili. He pulled out. Dimitrov's also out. Monfils, Musetti, Schwartzman, and Sinego have all pulled out of this event. So a lot of names pulling out of this event, but we still have some huge names who are actually playing. Having a look at the top of the draw now, and we have eight seeds in this one, and nobody gets a buy in the first round, which is very strange for an event like this. Alcaraz, the number one seed, and the world number one, we're getting to call him that for the first time in a draw since the US Open. He plays Runa in the first round, who just made a final last week. Winner of that match takes on either Manorino or Vavrinka in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Karatsev. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the number five seed, Rublev, in the second round. Then we've got Sidzipas, the number three seed, taking on the wild card Kukushkin. Winner of that match takes on either Chilich or a qualifier in the second round. And Chilich has been in good form this week, making it to the final in Israel. So that could be a tough match for Steph in the second round. Then you've got Grigsport taking on Bublik. Winner of that match takes on either Sirindolo or the number seven seed Hercatch in the second round. This is going to be a very fun event. And like I said, it's going to be stacked. It is a stacked event. We're going to go with potential matchups. We could get Alcaraz versus Rublev in the quarterfinals. City Pass Hercatch in the quarterfinals as well. I mean, City Pass Alcaraz could be a semifinal based on the rankings. But you just don't know because there's so many random players that could do well here. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number six seed Sinner taking on Otter in the first round. Of course, Sinner just withdrew from an event last week. So we're going to keep an eye on his fitness levels in this event. Our winner of that match will take on either Cressy or Hashinov in the second round. Then we've got Van Zanschel taking on the wild card Zukayev. Winner of that match takes on either Garen or the number four seed, Novak Djokovic, who made a final last week in Israel. So he's looking to continue that good form. Then we've got the number eight seed, Felix Ogeliasim, taking on Batista Agu in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Davidovic Fakina in the second round. Then we've got Huzla taking on Rusevori. Winner of that match takes on either Ramos Vinoles or the number two seed Medvedev in the second round. And this is a tournament that seems like Medvedev could definitely win or do well at, at least, because indoor hard courts, he does like playing on these surfaces and he does play well at the end of the seasons we saw last year. Let's see if Medvedev can turn it around, but potential quarterfinals, Djokovic, Sinner. I mean, if Sinner's healthy, or at least if Sinner's playing uh, playing well and, and maybe is over the ankle problem that hurt him last week. Him and Djokovic caught a final. I mean, FAA versus Medvedev caught a final. We've seen those guys play uh, an epic match in Australia this year. Uh, but there's some dangerous unseated players as well. You know, Batista Agu is always going to be dangerous. Uh, you've got to watch out for Huzla, who's had a very good couple of weeks. He played very good last week, making a final of an event. But also semifinals between maybe Djokovic and Medvedev. That could be epic to see those guys play another big semifinal matchup. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? I'm looking at Medvedev. I mean, Alcaraz obviously is in hot form. Djokovic is looking for blood. He wants to win tournaments, having not been able to play most of the events over the last couple of months. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event at the Astana Open? The first time it's an ATP 500.